What's up everyone welcome back to another interesting video but today I'm not gonna be covering any custom rooms. Today's video is gonna be on GSI. So if you don't know what's a GSI and what is the difference between a GSI and a custom room so google everything to know properly but in simple words GSI or generic system image are those rooms which are flashable on any android device. Like for custom rooms as you know that if I want to flash a custom room on my POCO X4 Pro then I would need the custom room that is built for POCO X4 Pro and you cannot flash it on any other device because it only supports POCO X4 Pro. But for GSI it's not the case. I mean I can flash a single GSI into multiple devices so in this video I'll be showing you that how you can flash your GSI temporarily for testing it on your phone using DSU loader. So the video is gonna be really amazing so make sure to watch it till then and now let's get the video started. So firstly for this process of trying the GSIs you will need to be on a pixel based room like pixel OS, pixel experience or pixel plus UI. I'm talking about pixel not AOSP both of them are totally different. Like when I tried to flash GSI from Evolution X which is AOSP based the process got failed. So keep that in mind. Now for the second step your device must be rooted so if you don't know how to root your device I have already made a video on it so make sure to check it out. So firstly you will need to download the DSU loader apk I will be giving the link in the description so don't worry about that. Secondly you will need to download the GSI which you want to flash like if you ask me then you should definitely try google pixel GSIs because they are the most stable than any other GSI rooms. Like once I tried to flash the ROG GSI and I got into boot loop so I will recommend you to try pixel GSIs. So for the best GSI rooms you can join the Nippon GSI group and channel link in the description. Now as you can see that I have downloaded the pixel GSI which is ported from the Google Pixel 5a and it's based on Android 14. So let me remind you again that the process I'm showing you is for flashing GSIs temporarily. For flashing permanent GSIs you will have to perform some fast boot D commands from your PC. So keep that in mind. Now once you have installed the APK open it and firstly you will need to give the storage access so let's just provide the access to our internal storage. Now after we have given the storage access you will need to give the root access like I'm using kernel issue for providing root access but for magisk when you open the DSU loader a pop up for super user arrives and just click on ground so yeah that's simple. Now after you have given the root access as you can see that there's an option called select a file to be installed so let me just click on it and now after that select the GSI file that you want to flash so I'm gonna be flashing the Google Pixel GSI which is based on Android 14 and is ported from the Google Pixel 5a. I think I said it before yeah. Now after we have selected the GSI file we need to click on the install button and now as you can see that it will need the biometric authentication for carrying out the process. Now once we have provided the biometric access as you can see that the process has started now let's wait for it. Now as you can see that the process has finally completed and when you will check your QS panel a notification for rebooting to the GSI will appear so let's reboot it from here. So firstly the POCO logo has appeared that's good. And now we have finally got the google boot animation on our screen and now let me tell you that if your phone gets stuck in boot loop while flashing the GSI don't worry just reboot your device and your phone will boot into the previous system without any data loss. So as you can see that our phone has finally booted up and now here you will find a pop up regarding internal problem. So don't worry about that just click ok and now you can finally set up your device without any problem. So I'm not gonna set up everything right now so let's skip every step. One eternity later. Now as you can see that we have finally flashed the GSI temporarily but successfully. So when you will move into the settings and move into the about section it's showing Android 14 and when we will tap on it it's showing the Android 14 easter eggs which is pretty nice. And now moving into the home screen you can also access the camera which works fine and even the play store without any problem. 
So now if I check out the QS panel, a notification from the DSU loader appears that our device is running on dynamic system. So to reboot to our original system, we need to click on reboot. So when we click on reboot, as you can see that our device will now reboot into our original system and now you can see the Google logo of the Pixel OS has finally appeared. And now you can see that we are finally rebooted back into our original system without any data loss. So this was a very easy and simple process regarding testing GSIs on your phone without flashing them permanently. So I hope you find the video helpful and one more thing, if this video gets 100 likes then I'll show you that how you can flash the GSI permanently on your phone. So make sure to like it, share it with your friends and most importantly sub to our channel. So goodbye and take care.